Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Hannah here and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I've got a plus size River Island haul for you guys. Um, first of all, happy bank holiday Monday. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all great and enjoying the sunshine. Um, so I saw my friend Becky Rain doing a River Island plus size haul and it really inspired me to go onto the River Island website and have a look what's on there because of a certain shirt that she had uh, bought for £10. Um, I'll leave her video linked in the description if you want to go check that out, she's brilliant. Um, so I wanted the shirt that she got for £10 so I bought that and then I saw so many other things that I really really wanted on the website so I'm just going to go through all of it. I'm going to start because I've got so much to get through. I've actually got two bags in here as well that I picked out for my sister's birthday. I'm only going to keep one but I bought two bags just because I wanted to decide which one to get for her birthday. So the first bag that I got was this one and it was £30. So. I haven't actually opened the bags up yet. I've tried everything on in terms of like the clothing items, but the bags or the accessories I've not actually opened up yet. So this is the first bag. I think this one's going to be going back because I already don't like the look of it. Um, she's very practical, my sister, so she wants an sh over-the-shoulder bag for her birthday. Something quite kind of, um, not, uh, not big, but like something quite spacious. So this could be like flat to her body, but very very spacious you can fit a lot of her junk in here basically and it's um a river island monogram bag with a um kind of suede panel in the middle and then a brown uh, leather up at the top and bottom with a long shoulder strap and like i said it was 30 pounds i don't think i'm going to keep this one for her just because i really i'm not a big fan of it me and her have very very different styles me and my sister in terms of handbags um <clears throat> she's very very practical she loves a really nice looking handbag but it has to be very practical for her as well um so this is the one that i think i'm going to keep just because let me open it up looking at it from the outside it looks like the nicer bag and i'm going to show you what that looks like so it is fully leather which means that well no i don't think it's real leather but like that leathery material which means it'll be good in the rain. Um, the suede one, however, if it gets wet or something drops on it, it'll stain, whereas this one will not. It's got a pocket on the front and then a long strap again. It is quite thin, so it can be kind of flush to her body. Um, and it's in this gorgeous grey colour and it's this River Island monogram print. And this one was £32, I think. Yeah, £32 from River Island. And I think this one she's going to really, really like. So her birthday is on the 28th of June. So I'm getting her a couple of bits together. I think I'm going to get her a purse and then I'm going to ask for some money from my brothers, kind of chip in and get her a few couple uh, other bits as well. Anyway, those are the two bags that I bought. Then um, I got a few pairs of jeans from River Island. You know I'm not a jeans girl, but I've been trying. I've really, really, really been trying um, to find a good pair of jeans. So I bought these ones, which are the mom jeans, and they look absolutely terrible on me. You'll see that in the try-on. They're absolutely horrendous. Got them in a size 24. They're the Carry High Rise mom jeans. Let me show you them. So that's the jean, as you can see. I got everything in bigger sizes from River Island because I didn't know what the sizing was going to be like. By the way, this shirt's from Shein. Use code Hannah Hearts 15, 15% off. <laughs> um, this was in my last Shein haul if you want to go check that out. But these are the jeans I got. So they are a high rise mom jean and the bottoms are cuffed. They were just too long. They just didn't look right. They've got little, little rips on them. They're a very nice jean. They just didn't look right on me. You'll see that in the try on. They were not nice at all. These were £42. Now, they are expensive River Island jeans. £40 plus pounds. I think the highest priced jean on there was £49, which is quite an expensive deal for a pair of jeans. But, I mean, I suppose if you're looking for a good pair, you've got to pay a little bit more. So, um, let me grab the other stuff I've got. So, yeah, so um, I got those jeans. They did not look nice. This is why I put the haul in in the first place. Like I said, Becky had uh, bought this shirt from River Island, which was a tenner, and it was absolutely gorgeous. I got this in a size 22. Wish I'd got it in a 20. I might actually order the 20 instead. But it is this blue shirt with silver thread running all the way through. It's £35 originally. Got it in a size 22, as I said. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's oversized shirt. That's what it looks like. Got some cuffs. Like I said, I might order it in a size down only because the back is where the party is. So let me show you the back. This is what the back looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. But as you can see, the back is tied all the way. Like as in, there's no kind of space. Like I had to tie this as tight as it could go. 
and it's still a little bit baggy on me so i feel like i should go a size down just because i don't want it to look too big um but this is absolutely gorgeous the buttons on the front as well let me show you they're like these little diamante buttons it's a really really good quality and it was on sale for a tenner so go check it out um in the description below 10 pounds i mean amazing price for a gorgeous shirt this with like white jeans in the summer i don't have any white jeans obviously or like a blue light blue jean in the summer or something like that would look super super nice i'd probably wear a tank top underneath just because i don't want to show my skin my back um and that's just me you guys know that but yeah that's the whole reason i did the haul was for that shirt so thank you becky for showing me that was 10 pounds um then i got some leggings so i got these in an 18 um just because they're leggings and they were from the straight size section and they are just some khaki green leggings they fit really nice they just fit like normal leggings i do like river island leggings because they are not see-through at all and i just thought this khaki with like a white shirt would look really really nice I just like different coloured leggings so as you've seen I've been buying like some neutral leggings, some grey leggings recently, um, some blue acid wash blue leggings and now I've got some khaki leggings as well. Let's pull out something else. Next we have another pair of jeans, again got these in a 24. These I thought would be the best jeans ever because they're like a, a bum sculpt jean type thing. They, I just hate the colour. I really don't like this indigo colour. This is just not for me. And it came with a belt as well, which I thought was quite cool. Let me just show you. These are the high rise skinny jeans. Put them together and show you what they look like. So this is what they look like. You can see they've got a belt with them as well. Um, and then they have like a bum sculpt at the back, at the back, as you can see. So this is what that looks like however it didn't really do anything for me and i feel like the jeans were too long i just did not like these jeans the way that they looked they've got some beautiful detailing on the rival jeans as you can see look at that button i don't know if you can see that it's focusing on me there we go see really really nice but the color just didn't do it for me i don't know why i got this color i really don't like indigo jeans anyway i either like light wash or complete black jeans so um i don't know why i ordered those but I tried them out, I have tried them, I have been trying for you guys and I just did not or was not a fan of these ones. Where is the packet for these jeans? That is. And then also I got another pair of jeans, they're actually put away at the moment so I can't actually get them for you or I can but I'm just being lazy but I will insert a try on. They are the high rise, no the mid-rise molly skinny jeans everybody's been going on about the molly jeans on instagram uh, plus size edition and i thought let me just try them out and they are really really nice they fit gorgeous i wore them last night to go out to dinner um it is so hot in jeans oh my god i don't know how people wear jeans on a day-to-day -day basis my thighs are sweating my knees are sweating does that even happen um but i'll insert a clip of the molly jeans i really liked those so i will link those in the description as well because they were absolutely gorgeous jeans those ones then i have a top now i don't know if i want to keep this top or not it was in the sale i think it was 16 pounds the molly jeans are 40 pounds by the way the black ones um this was in the sale for 16 pounds from 32 pounds and it's like this um i don't know waffle material kind of very very stretchy but the kind of big thing about this is it's got a little puff sleeve and then it's got this gorgeous elongated cuff with three little beads on it like pearl beads i just don't know because the reason i don't know if i want to keep this top first of all it's gorgeous in terms of it's a high neck it's a puff sleeve it's got um exaggerated cuff all the things that i like they ruined it though with this stretchy band at the bottom it just reminds me of grandma's like you know when your grandma has a top on and it has a stretchy band at the bottom do you know what i'm talking about that's what this reminds me of so it's really put me off the top i suppose i could tuck it into stuff but i wanted it to be one of those tops that i could just wear over jeans like you don't have to tuck into anything do you know what i mean i could just wear over stuff so i don't know if i should keep this or not have a look in the try on let me know what you think um whether i should keep this top it was only 16 pounds from river island which is a good price and it is a very very good quality top as well so i'm on the fence about that one um so still kind of deciding whether or not i want to keep that next we have a dress which for the life of me didn't fit me so unfortunately i couldn't even show you the try on because i could not get it over my bust area at all and it's the most beautiful dress ever i hope they bring it out in plus because i love it so much got it in a size 18 that um 
black top was in a size 18 because it was from the straight section or it was in a size large or something like that because they only go up to a large but this was in an 18 and i hope they do it in plus because i really really love the dress it's like a pink ruffle gold threaded foiled high neck dress just all the cute stuff like a tea dress you know um it's got a little cute puff sleeve with a tiny little cuff elasticated cuff that's very very short so it's like three quarter length sleeve see-through with a slip underneath ruffles on the front sheared waist panel and then it just kind of flares outwards it's really 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 beautiful the pattern is just absolutely gorgeous i love it and it's such a shame that it doesn't fit so if you have a smaller bust than me it will definitely fit you my uh bust size is a size g so if you've got like say for example an e or a d bust this will definitely fit you if you are the same size as me um because it was only the bust that didn't fit everything else was okay but the bust my my breasts were like squashed like pancakes you know um this is the back it's got like a v ruffle oh it's just so floaty so gorgeous i really really love this dress it was originally 46 pounds it wasn't on sale so it was still 46 pounds but it didn't fit me unfortunately so it's such a shame but i do really really love this one i ripped the packaging for this as well by accident i'm just gonna have to kind of stuff it back in there and then i have a, another gorgeous shirt what else is in here oh yeah so another gorgeous shirt this does fit this is in a size i think this is an 18 or a large size large um so this is in a size large which i think is a size 16 to 18 in river island but it's an oversized one it's not oversized on me obviously but um it looks really really nice and this is what it looks like again it's that gold foil it's kind of like very in style it's kind of foiled look i don't know if this is in style this shirt here but um this prism shirt from from shein but this kind of gold foiling i've seen it everywhere and it is a very very sheer shirt with a cuff and it has like this very nice paisley not paisley it's not paisley what is this this pattern it's just very nice it reminds me of henna designs you know that's what it reminds me of but it's so super beautiful super super light and floaty really really nice lovely color and it's very watercolored that's what it reminds me of like a watercolored painting um this is in a size large and yeah it's really really nice the original price of this is 28 pounds it wasn't on sale but it is very very beautiful so i may keep this one just that i can kind of tuck it into skirts maybe or even wear it open or even wear it closed buttoned up over stuff but it's supposed to look oversized i think and it's not oversized on me and then the last item i got was this one which was on sale this is a size 18 it is a skirt some of you may have seen on my instagram that i have the cardigan matching to this and this was 32 pounds but it was on sale for i think 10 or 12 pounds and this is what it looks like i don't know what it says on it it says chance c-h-a-n-c and then it says c-e-u-x i don't know guys but it's a very stretchy very close knit tube skirt um, and I thought wearing this with like just a black top and then my cardigan or tucking my cardigan into it I think it looks a bit too much I might not keep this because I, I don't feel like I'd wear this skirt on its own and then the way that I wanted to wear it it just doesn't look good on me and you'll see that in the try on it's just too much writing you know I feel like a walking dictionary so <laughs> it's just I don't know it's just not right for me I don't think so this is unfortunately going back it's a very good quality though it really reminds me of Zara quality the um, knit of it because Zara do have a lot of knitted clothing um so yeah so i am sending that back unfortunately guys i know that i said i was going to do what i wear in a week but honestly anytime i wear an outfit and like i'm ready to film in the mirror kind of a quick what am i wearing no one's just crying and i'm just like oh my god when am i going to ever film this so i am doing a what i wear in a week video but it's not going to be all in the same week so like i've got two outfits filmed already and that was from like two weeks ago and then i'll probably film today's outfit or maybe tomorrow's outfit or something so it will be a what i wear in a week but it's just going to be a scattered week so there's what going to be like two mondays a tuesday a thursday a saturday whatever you know um so i am definitely going to do that i was thinking of doing a um plus size pinterest outfits video that's really weird but i've been obsessed with pinterest lately like looking at outfit inspiration on pinterest so do let me know what you think about that like i'm thinking about recreating pinterest outfits i just feel like that would be a vibe you know because they do have some gorgeous outfits on there they don't have any plus size people on pinterest or they have like very less posts from plus size people 
um but the outfit inspiration on there is just immense so i might do like a video plus size pinterest outfit video i don't know what it's gonna be like but anyway that is my haul um i hope you enjoyed it i will leave everything linked in the description so if you want anything then do check it out um and please shop through my links if you can i get a tiny teeny teeny com commission from the links that are um affiliate links or the links that are you know what do you call them like like the links that give you a tiny per percentage if you click on them they're all asterisk starred basically if i do get a tiny commission from there but if you could shop from those links and i would be truly truly grateful to you guys um but if not then obviously you can just go through the website and just buy it as is that's absolutely fine too uh but anyways guys don't forget to follow me on instagram hannah hearts x and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys